Switch. Oh, yeah. Two for two, baby. Oh, there we go. Nice. What's up, guys? It's Kevin from Subi Speed. We just got in a much anticipated package, so I had to go and grab the camera, and I wanted to show you guys why I'm so excited. So, let's tear into this box here and show you what we got. There's another box. Okay. So if you guys pay attention to our social media, you may have seen the Facebook Live that I had the V2 Subi Speed headlights installed, a prototype on our WRX, but now we have a full set of production headlights that I need to test out. So I'm gonna go ahead and test all the functions on our SCI. Unfortunately, our blue WRX is at the old shop in the, our manufacturing shop. So I can't put those on those on that car right now, but uh, the SCI will do for now. All right, so I lied. We're not gonna be using the SCI because the battery's dead. Um, instead, we are gonna go get my brother's car. He has a 2017 WRX. I'm gonna install the headlights on his car and we're gonna give it back to him so he can do a road test, drive it around for a couple days or a week or so and see if any issues arise. This guy still has Christmas lights on his house. It's February, it's the end of February. What are you doing? Finally found the keys. Let's get this thing back to the shop. This thing is pretty filthy, so I have to stop at an automatic car wash, uh, touchless wash, get it cleaned up real quick before I bring it back to the shop. Ha! So are you! All right, we made it back. Let's get this thing inside. It's like our blue car never even left. Fortunato is coming today and we're doing sort of a suspension seminar and they were nice enough to bring us some free lunch, so shout out to Fortunato. Yo's already digging into the food. Duh. It's the most important part. <laughs> Oh no! Sorry, man. Sorry. What the heck? Too slow. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to stick with a lanyard and some stickers. So that was pretty neat to have Terry come in, do that presentation, talk a little bit about how Fortunato came about, and went over uh, their different coilovers. You got the 500s, 510s, two and three-way adjustable coilovers. So if you guys are looking for a new set of quality coilovers definitely check out the Fortune Autos. So we're done with lunch and the Fortune Auto seminar. Let's get the bumper off of this car and the headlights installed. So for those of you who have never taken off your headlights before, I'll go through a quick little demo for you guys. Um, I know I have a video out there, our uh, Morimoto retrofit kit install already, but I'm gonna go through real quick and show you guys what you need to do. Obviously, I already have the bumper off, so if you've gotten that far, then you're gonna look for these two 10 millimeter bolts up top, on top of the headlight here. There's also a pop clip here. 
But the main thing, the first thing you're gonna need to worry about is getting this bumper bracket off first. There's four 10 millimeter bolts holding it on. There's one right here and one down in here. And then we go over to the side. There are two more 10 millimeter bolts there and then a small pop clip. Once you have those off, you can pull the black part off like I did on the passenger side. And then you'll wanna unclip your headlight. And with these two bolts removed and that pop clip, you'll be able to take your headlight out. Easy peasy. Looks great, right guys? Neat little feature right here, the yellow turn signal wire from the headlights actually has a harness in it that goes in between your turn signal and fog light harness so that you don't have to splice into any wires. So all I have to do is disconnect this wire that plugs into your turn and fog lights and then connect that and then this goes into the other connector onto the lights and you're set. So I just found two wires that I have no idea where they go or what they do. Just kidding guys, we actually figured out what those wires were for. Uh, it's actually a new feature, but I will show you after I get both of the headlights installed. So satisfying. I've got everything reinstalled on the car. The headlights are installed on the car. It's time to head home, so I'm gonna take this with me tonight and take it out for a spin and make sure everything works as it should. So I took the car out for a spin last night. The lights look absolutely amazing. Super bright, no issues whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what they look like and what's different between these and the V1s. So we'll take a look at these with the lights off first. And as you can see, these are pretty much blacked out and it does have the red accent around the projector and these vertical bars here. I know a lot of you guys um, actually wanted the red accent, but majority voted that we didn't. So in the V1s, it came without the red accent, but now here they are again. Also, another big difference is the covers for the C light and the vertical bars. On the V1s, they were white. On these, they are sort of a smoked, clear version. A lot more light from the LEDs is gonna shine through, so on these versions, the sea lights and the vertical bars are actually brighter because these are sort of clear. And then if we go over to the side here, the side marker is actually a very dark smoke orange side marker. So it's still orange, but you get that smoked look so it doesn't pop out as much. Let me see if I can get a good angle on that. So you can sort of still see the orange hue, but you get that smoked out look and the front end looks pretty darn aggressive with these on. So let me go ahead and turn these on for you to see what they look like. So you still got that orange side marker there and here are the lights on. You can see they are super bright. Give you a couple different angles here. Now for the fun part, let me show you guys the turn signals. Now on the V1s, the turn signals were a sequential turn signal that was in the vertical bars, but now that has changed, I'll let you guys see for yourself. Some of you guys mentioned that the vertical bars weren't as visible. Well, now you definitely are able to see those turn signals, so you should have no issues with it whatsoever. Yesterday, I showed you guys those wires that I found that I had no idea what they did, but I figured it out. Let me show you guys real quick. So I have them sitting out right here, and they actually plug into each other. I'm gonna have to set the camera down real quick to plug these in. So once you plug that in, the turn signals go from a sequential turn signal to a normal blinking turn signal. So it gives you that option to either keep the sequentials or go back to a normal blinking turn signal. Really cool new option for you guys, really easy to use. All you have to do is either plug those in or not use them at all. And honestly, it looks great either way. But I do 
Really enjoy that sequential function. Gives it a nice dynamic look. But let me know what you guys think, what you guys like better, and what you think looks better. Last thing I'll show you guys is the cutoff and light output. So I have the car pointed into a dark room right now. I'll flip on the lights and show you guys what that looks like. So you guys can see you get that crisp cutoff across the board. Super wide. Almost forgot to show you guys the high beams. Here's the high beams on real quick. All right, well there you go guys, that's about it. These should be available this summer. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email us or give us a ring. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our latest videos. I gotta get this car back to my brother, so I'll see you guys next time.